so in the previous episode uh, i taught you how to uh, i i, I uh, show you how to uh, create this core content class and uh, now uh, let's let's see how do we uh, load a specific controller uh, using this uh, url uh, using this specific url uh, so let me go to the core class so inside the core class i guess um, we don't need this stuff anymore now we need to uh, somewhat uh, isolate the controller from the url then we need to call or we need to initialize uh, the core uh, the controller class inside this constructor okay that's the basic idea uh, so let me go to my documentations okay so first uh, i will uh, i need a set statement because i need to check whether the url is specified or not so if the url is specified we are isolating or we are taking or we are trimming the uh, data uh, the corresponding controllers corresponding methods corresponding parameters out of it so initially uh, i will take the url uh, and trim it so our trim so basically i can again get the url and i will trim it using this uh, sign because uh, that's how we are uh, we are uh, specifically declare the controller method and parameters okay so that's how initial trim is specified then i will uh, sanitize or somewhat filter the url because the url can be having uh, the unnecessary symbols or things like that so i don't need to have uh, such things i will simply filter sanitize or filter sanitize url so sanitize uh, nice word right uh, we have sanitized more than enough then uh, i will just explode the url using this sign then i can simply return the url content now with some sort of associative array that contain a specific url uh, contain the controller method and parameter list uh yeah so if i show you what i just had done yeah go to the content so this is what uh, initially that we have been seen but now look at what happened it's associative array so this is the controller this is the method these are the corresponding parameter list okay nice now uh, we can load the controller okay so instead of just printing this i will take the result like this then uh, i can first check whether the controller exists or not right otherwise we can't load the things so we first must, must uh, check whether the file exists or not inside the app controllers folder and uh, each controller so we must take use words 
out of flower you are so as i uh, shown you before this is uh, zero index is pointed out pointed to the controller so we must take the zeroth index and uh, yeah we can simply concatenate the content uh, like this dot php because again it's some sort of php file then uh, if the file exists or let's say if the controller exists exists then load it uh, so i will load it as the current controller so current it's current controller uh, you see words url zero because that's the current controller then uh, after loading the current controller i can simply unset that controller uh, from the url unset the controller in the url so unset url zero right and uh, now i have lo uh, taken the name of the controller then i can simply call it so call the controller so require once the same thing goes over here because as we checked whether the file exists or not if the file exists then we can load the same out of it uh, so this current controller dot php after calling the controller we need to instantiate the controller class right uh, so i can instantiate the controller it's in this way so current controller will be new this current controller so initially this current controller holds a string value but now it holds a uh, object of this specific class okay right uh, yeah i guess that's it now uh, i can uh, create a controller so initially i will just create a controller like pages then since this is a, again a class we need to specify the class content so class pages then public function construct something like this so for the demonstration purposes i will just echo as like this this is the pages controller right now i can go here so remember our control is pages and i don't care about these methods and parameter list but all i consider is this controller if i refresh it now the control is loaded but if i declare uh, any other different thing it will point it to this uh, default uh, controller which is again a pages controller okay so you can have any amount of controllers <coughs> and uh, out of it you can choose any of them as a default controller okay. and uh, okay for demonstration purposes let me declare another controller as uh, post so i will copy the content of the pages and paste it over here but remember to change this class name as 
post so this is post controller so i will go over here and refresh it it's it is still pages but if i specify over here as post now it will load the post controller and again i don't need to have this method for now okay if i reload it it will show the uh, same thing now i can go to the pages then it will read it to the pages controller okay that's how routing works and uh, yeah it works and i think uh, for this episode is to sign up and i will show you more interesting things in the next episode thank you